Falcons EdTech Tutorials on this episode, Online Study Tips. Hello Hadley and Philemon and welcome to Falcons EdTech Tutorials. I'm Mr. Wowda and today I'm going to talk to you about ways in which you can make your online learning experience more efficient and more enjoyable. We've all had to adapt our learning this year and one of the ways we've had to adapt it is by learning from home. So this video is going to take you through five ways to make that experience just a bit more efficient. First, we're going to show you how to set up a study space. Next, we're going to talk to you about getting rid of distractions. Then we're going to talk about the importance of taking a break and taking time for yourself. Then we're going to talk about the effectiveness and the importance of participating in your online classes. And finally, show you two apps that allow you to make to-do lists or how to set up a calendar. That's all in this video. We hope you enjoy it and we hope you learn from it. One of the best ways to get organized and be productive at home is to set up a dedicated study space. It really doesn't matter where you set this space up, as long as it works for you as a space to do some schoolwork. You can work at a kitchen table or even a kitchen island or bar. Just make sure the space will be free from clutter or distractions. If possible, set yourself up at a desk. The shelves and drawers of a desk lend themselves to organization, and you might find it easier to stay organized when all your school materials have their own spot. Choosing the right chair to sit in is also important. If you can, use an office chair, but really, any firm chair that supports your back and is comfortable enough for you to sit in for long periods of time is okay. Aside from the perfect study space, you can also control the number of distractions that are around you while you learn. Avoid having the TV on while you work and minimize the number of active screens in your area. For example, if you're working in your laptop, place your phone in another room. Sitting on a couch or your bed is also a recipe for a sore back, which will make focusing on your work even harder. Working from home does have its downsides. Going to an actual school building and returning from it creates a nice separation between school life and home life, but working at home means that your school life and home life might blend together. You may not realize how much less active you are when you aren't walking to a bus stop or going outside for recess and lunch. Going for a run, reading a book, playing video games, all of these are ways for you to give yourself a break from the demands of school. If you can, try to spend some time outside each day. The important thing is to take care of yourself. A happy brain is a productive brain. Another drawback of working from home is the disconnect you might feel from your class and teacher. It's too easy to sign into a Teams meeting and then sit passively through the 50-minute session. While it may be uncomfortable at first, try to make it a habit to turn your camera and microphone on. Participate in the class discussions and ask questions or make comments. Remember, you can blur your background and team so no one needs to know about how messy your room is. Participating in your classes will improve all aspects of your learning experience, and studies show that being an active participant leads to better report card results. Okay, now that you have organized your study space, a next step could be to begin creating to-do lists or creating a calendar to organize all of your assignments. Being out of school can lead to some confusion about when certain projects are due. One app, called Microsoft To-Do, which is available for free on any Windows computer, is a great way to organize your day. Another way to organize your assignments is by creating a calendar. Google Calendar is easy to use and will allow you to see all of your required work clearly. You can even view the calendar as a schedule, which allows you to only see the events created on the calendar functioning as its own to-do list. All right, so there you have it. Five tips to help you improve your online learning experience. As always, if you have any suggestions for us for future videos, please leave us a comment or message us, the Tech Tidbit team, Mr. Lachance and me, Mr. Wada, on Teams, and we'll be happy to try to get that video made for you. All right, guys, until next time, have a great day, Hadley and Philemon.